Rene from Indonesia. Rene? Assalamualaikum, Seh. Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum. Seh, I want to ask you, I was uh, raised by my mother, and lately my mother is sick because she's, uh, she's getting old, and I'm really afraid if I'm going to lose her. Uh, please uh, give me... So... Thanks to remain. First of all, Rene, life and death are things that each and every living creature on earth must go through. And this is inevitable. You tell me, how many around us have lived for more than a hundred years? The average of the Muslim ummah is between 60 and 70, the Prophet says, alayhi And seldomly you will find someone going over 70. And you notice this and you see this. The more they get older, the weaker and fragile they are. And it breaks our hearts when we see them in such a deteriorating state. Remembering that 20 years ago they were fit and strong and they cleaned the house and they cooked and they did all the chores on their own. And probably they went to the farm and to the market and did 20 hours work a day. And now they barely can go to the toilet, wash themselves, clean themselves. They can barely eat. They used to eat this much, now they eat this little. This is life. So we love them. We care for them. And we wish, but we know that this wish is not possible. We wish that they could live forever, but they can't. So we have to believe in the predestiny, in the divine decree that Allah placed a date of birth and a date of death for each and every one of us. Not a single minute it can be earlier or later. It has to be on that precise second that Allah preordained it. When we believe in this, we're saddened. We are depressed. But it's inevitable. We have to accept it as Muslims. So when you have this at the back of your mind, and you feel content with whatever Allah chooses, knowing that there is no possible way that they will remain healthy and they will live forever. This teaches you how to stand in the face of shaitan and defeat him and say to him, I will not accept these negative thoughts that you're giving me. Instead of being worried depressed and sad, I will utilize every single remaining moment in my mother's life to be next to her and to do whatever I can to help her, to be dutiful, to obey her. And when Allah's judgment comes, I have nothing to do except to submit my will to Allah and to accept it and to say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. This is life. We are not here to stay. We are in a transitional period. We are here to do our time and then go, inshallah, to Jannatul Naim, to paradise for eternity. And you, if you do well, you will be joined with your mom and your loved ones in paradise. So stay strong, hold on, and inshallah things will be to the best.